So the first thing I'm going to use after I've moisturized my face and cleaned it up, ready to get started on my makeup, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Green Face Primer. And I'm going to get quite a bit of this because I'm going to be outside a lot today and I do not want my face melting off. That would not be cute. If you can't find this green one, because I know sometimes some stores don't have the same things, um, the illuminating one is good. Just keep in mind it has a little bit of sparkle on it. Like it's not a whole bunch, it's like very thin, just a little bit of sparkles. But I feel like all their primers kind of do. But you can't ever tell until I like look at my fingers later. And I'm like, oh, where did that sparkle come from? And I'm like, oh, that's my primer. But you can never tell on your skin. Okay, so now I'm going to take my beauty blender from Claire's and I'm just going to dampen that. And then I'm going to be using, starting off with my BB cream from Maybelline Dream BB cream. Um, brush BB cream in 110 light to medium sheer tint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to do a decent sized drop on the back of my hand depending on if you're using concealer or this or not. Um, I use quite a bit of concealer whether I have really full coverage because of BB cream or not. So I like to just get about a dime size depending on how much coverage I want that day or how much I'm going to be outside. Since I'm going to be outside quite a bit I want an even amount of sunscreen on my face. Okay, so while my BB cream is going to be sinking in, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows, and I'm not going to include that, so if you want to see my eyebrow routine, I will make a video, and as soon as I get it up, I will post it in the description box below. Okay, so I did my eyebrows, and they're looking a little funky today, I think. I don't know, it might just be me, but um, as I go on with the makeup, I'll soften them up a little bit, take away some of the harshness, so let's just get through it, and it'll look better once I get all my makeup on. So I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color light number 10 and I'm going to put it under my eyes in a big triangle and I just like to brush it out for whatever reason. I guess it helps blend it better. I don't know. Um, and then I'll do the other side. So I like to immediately take the face powder. I'm going to take my Revlon Nearly Naked face powder in Fair number 10. And um, I'm going to bake my face, but since I need to fix part of my eyebrow, I'm just going to take a little brush and just dab under my eye. Because this concealer kind of creases quick under eyes. It doesn't crease into like smile lines though. It's just only under my eyes that I've noticed it creases at. Um, I'm going to do my bronzer now. Bronzer slash contour. I'm going to be using my baked finishing powder by Painted Earth in Satin Glow or Rare for Summertime because it's got this orangey, just very warm color to it. As long as you don't use a whole too much, like if you're not heavy handed with it, it'll look good no matter what. Just if you get too heavy handed with it, it'll look orange. So now I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and start baking. I'm going to lay out a little towel on my lap so it doesn't get all over my pants. And I like to first start by putting some under my eyes. This is the most important part for me, is under the eyes. This is where I like to put the majority of it. Okay, so while my face is baking, I'm going to go do my eye makeup and... I'll see you guys whenever I'm done with that. So I'm going to take that same highlighter, the Becca Highlighter in Opal, and this flat um, fan brush. And I'm just going to do quite a bit on my cheekbones. Because I really love an intense highlight, especially when I'm going for a really simple, natural look. I just like to have like that extra. Mm. Okay, and I'm going to grab some and do it on my nose. I love to have a very highlighted nose. Powder and just put it all over my cupid's bow. I like to have a very highlighted cupid's bow. And then I'm going to start off with my NARS red lip liner. I believe this is in the color Cruella. It's the velvet matte lip pencil. I love this just for just like my whole lips. 